Breaking the Wall of Computational Creativity. Tarek Richard Besold, University of Osnabrück. Good morning, everybody. So let me tell you a little about computational creativity and the European Concept Invention Theory project. But actually, before getting into the computational flavor, let's have a look at natural creativity. So where does creativity happen? Well, clearly, for example, in music or, say, in art. And who is doing creativity there? Well, normally people say the composer, the painter, the sculptor, the poet, what have you. But there's another form of creativity. Think of Einstein, think of Rutherford, David Hilbert, Stevie Jobs. Think of all of you. We are all creative. But there's one common element to all of us. We are human. And normally creativity is perceived as a generally human trait and there is a big wall to computers. Why is that? Well, creativity seems to be some kind of mumbo-jumbo of intuition, emotion, drive. What if you? Whilst computers normally are presupposed to work according to logical rules. And there seems to be a big inconsistency between these two. Well, what we actually try to do is we want to remove that wall and we want to get computers into this domain, or rather creativity into the computation domain. And by the way, uh, there already are quite some successes. The music you just heard is completely computer composed and has been enacted by the London Symphony Orchestra. And the paintings were painted by a computer. So how do we want to do that? Well, we want to focus on Einstein, Rutherford, all these guys, and we want to do concept and idea creation. Well, we have a great ability called concept blending. If I show you a house and a boat and I tell you combine them, what happens? Well, either a houseboat or a boathouse. Sounds trivial? Not really. Like 10 years ago in 2003, two cognitive scientists, Lakoff and Nunez, published a book called Where Mathematics Comes From. And they show that actually, they make a very convincing case. The ability of children to learn counting and even to develop an understanding of the rational numbers develops from three experiences. Measuring discrete distances, walking along a line, and combining objects. So how can we get this into a computer? Well, these initial ideas can be formalized in a formal logical language, which then we can use to actually get to the other more complex ideas. Sound solved? Not at all. Why? Well, we want houseboats, boathouses, but we don't want flooded houses, nor do we want boats on beaches. So you have to be selective, and there's quite some trick to this. Our vision now is that we actually, well, say we're ambitious. We want to continue this line. This is Amy Argonde, a French mathematician who combined mathematical insights of his time into the first geometrical representation of the complex numbers. Antonin Dvorak, Symphony from the New World. He combines classical music with influences from the US. Well, why not take the concept invention theory and combine things into new insights and ideas? Thanks a lot. <laughs>